channel. My name is Jessica if you're new here. If you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my son's room makeover in our farmhouse fixer upper. If you don't know already, my husband and I purchased a farmhouse fixer upper almost a year ago now and we've slowly been renovating each room as we go. I've shared a few rooms here on YouTube. If you've missed those videos, you can check them out with the links down below in the description box. Also in today's video, I have teamed up with Betty's. They were kind enough to send me a free bed set to help with my son's room makeover. And I can't wait to share it with you guys and tell you a little bit more about Betty's. And I also have a discount code for you, so stay tuned for that a little bit later on in this video. All right, now let's get started on the room. So this is my son's room. It is a pretty decent size, which is nice. Um, my son was used to having a separate space for his toys and his gaming and then his bedroom. But with this house, we do not have a finished basement. So this is his room where he hangs out with his friends and he sleeps and all of his toys need to be in here. He's nine years old, so he is still into a lot of stuff. Um, so I just want to transform this room to give him a big kid room somewhere where he can hang out in and also sleep in. I put together a vision board so I could get what was in my head out on paper. Well, in this case, on the computer. So I could see everything and see if it all fit together. Um, we have a brick wall and the loft bed and a futon and a new TV unit um, and some shelves for my son's comic books. So there's a lot going on here. I was kind of going for, I guess, like an urban loft feel, but kid version? So I'm starting off with the brick wall that is going to go behind his loft bed and it's going to make a focal wall or a focal point when you first walk into the room. So I'm just using peel and stick wallpaper that I got off of Amazon. I purchased eight rolls of this to do one wall. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. It was pretty easy to apply. I've never applied peel and stick wallpaper before. So I was pleasantly surprised that it was really forgiving um, and that the patterns matched up pretty well. There are a few areas where it is kind of off, but once everything is up and since the bed is going on this wall, you don't even notice it. Um, and you just place it on the wall and uh, just use the scraper to get all of the air bubbles out. And it's that simple to put up and it took me about a couple hours to do this. Um, and then I just went around the edges of the uh, pieces that were overlapping the ceiling and the side and the baseboards and used an X-Acto knife to trim those up. Since my son wanted a loft bed, I wanted something that was going to be easy for him to make his own bed every day. So I reached out to Betty's and they were kind enough to send me their jet set bedding and what is so special about Betty's is that it is an all-in-one piece that has a comforter and a sheet attached and it fits on to your mattress just like a fitted sheet. Let me show you how it works. Like I was saying, this piece fits on to your mattress just like a fitted sheet. It has elastic around it, so you just pull it over your mattress and that's it. It's that simple and it's both your sheet and your comforter together. So all you have to do to access your comforter is just unzip the zipper at the top and flip over the top there and that's your comforter and then on the bottom is your sheet and to make your bed you just flip that piece back over and zip it back up it's that simple they have a variety of styles and designs to choose from they're not just for kids adults can use them too i definitely want to get one for myself for my bedroom I finished off making the bed with the two pillowcases and two pillow shams that came with the bedding set from Betty's. And then I also added a couple pillow covers that I got off of Amazon a while back. And this cute longboard pillow that came from Betty's that they sent me. This is sold separately, but it just makes the bed set perfect. 
If you're interested in your own Bettys, check out the link below in the description box and use the code Jessica Lynn to receive 15% off. Now I'm gonna work underneath the bed. I'm gonna use these LED strip lights I got off of Amazon and they have a self-adhesive on them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug them in and then I'm gonna stick them all the way around the underside of his bed. Uh, one roll um, worked for almost the whole bed and he has a full size bed. So I had to add another roll and you just connect both together and then I just finished it off to where I started at and then you just cut it to um, make sure that way you don't have a bunch hanging over. And then after that was done, I wanted to add a little desk to the area and I had some leftover one by 12s from all of the house projects we are doing. So I decided to add a couple pieces to make a corner desk but I wanted it to kind of fit inside of uh, the bedding you see there where the rail is so that way it's all connected so I had to notch out one of the pieces of wood so I just marked it and used my jigsaw to do that and now it fits right around the leg of that bed and then I just hung up some brackets on each side where the wood is going to sit and it worked out perfectly for a little desk. I'm going to go ahead and finish off by adding this rolling cart for some extra storage and his beanbag chair and his desk chair. Having this loft bed and being able to have this extra space underneath it works out so great to give him so much more room in this bedroom. And then I just added some original artwork that we bought at a comic book convention from an artist that is local and my son really loved it so I thought I would hang it above his desk to inspire him and I'll actually link the local artist that did this work his Instagram down below in my description box I also added these LED lights um, they're just touch LED lights they're battery operated I got them from Walmart and you can hang them up just with the sticky tape and you can make different designs with them I'm sure my son is gonna want more now I'm going to tackle the opposite side of the room which is across from his bed and that is his TV wall. I purchased this pipe shelving unit from Amazon. I just added the wood to it and I got it when we first moved in here and installed it and then I realized it just made everything look like a cluttered mess. So I'm going to take it down and replace it with something else. Now I know he has a big TV in his room. Typically we wouldn't do that but like I said this is our only extra hangout or his only extra hangout area. So this gives him time to be able to go and play his games while mom and dad can go in the living room and watch some television that we want to watch. So what I replaced the system with was this cabinet from Ikea and it's great because it has some drawers and doors to it. So I'm going to store his books that he has and some games on the other side. Um, and then in the drawers, I have some extra toy storage and just some storage for all of his video games and media equipment. So this wall is next to the TV wall and I needed to add something there because it's the first wall you see when you walk into his room. And when we went to Ikea, we actually saw a bedroom that my son really liked, one of the display bedrooms, and it had this graffiti wall art on it. And I looked everywhere for something like that on Amazon and online um, that was within my budget, obviously, and couldn't find anything. But I did find this Thinking Monkey wall decal, and I thought it was just colorful enough and just cool enough to add to his room to this wall. So I'll leave a link to it down below in the description box. Um, it's really easy to apply. It's just a wall decal and comes in two pieces that you just line up. And then I wanted to also add some shelves for displaying his comic books that he's really into and some of the special ones that he has. So I got three of these picture ledge shelves from Ikea and just hung them in line with the monkey. Now 
Now that he has a loft bed, he can't have a ceiling fan. So we replaced it with this pretty cool light from Ikea and he picked it out. He loves it when it's closed. It kind of looks like the Death Star. And we put one of the LED smart bulbs in it so it can change colors. The last thing I added to his room is this futon. It was from Walmart. You can actually only purchase it in the store, but it was a great addition to this room for when he has sleepovers, his friends can sleep on it, or he can just sit on it and play his games and watch TV and movies. Can I open? Yeah, open. Whoa! Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.